Hare Krishna. All together. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare We just heard Maharaj was explaining about this age. It's called Iron Age, Kali Yuga. The lifespan of this age is 432,000 years. This is Kali Yuga. The age prior to this was Dwapar Yuga. 800 twice of this, 864,000. The age prior to that was Treta Yuga and then Satya Yuga. So this is a cycle. This is a cycle. We are wandering in this universe from so many ages. But every age has its own quality. As Maharaj was explaining, starting with Satya Yuga, everyone was very pious, always speaking truth, no sins, not even in mind, not even sinful thought comes in the mind. That was the age. Lifespan of living entities, jivas in that age, was 100,000 years. Everyone used to live 100,000 years. Were there any other kind of living entities? No, oh, we just, we all, <laughs> we are moving from all those ages. Imagine, uh, our lifespan was 100,000 years. <laughs> and the only means to attain Lord in that age was Krite Yadhyato Vishnu ah, Meditation The environment was very clean, no pollution The consciousness was so clean and pure So they used to sit in meditation for thousands of years And can see the Lord in their meditation That was the nature of that age but then the second age is Treta Yuga where the lifespan of jivas, living entities, only 10,000 years. From 100,000 to 10,000. Treta Yajato Makhe And the only means to attain Lord was fire sacrifice. They used to sit for hundreds of years performing fire sacrifice. Om Swaha, Swaha offering oblations in fire. And Yajna Purush Bhagwan. Yes, <laughs> Arjun is copying me. Yajna Purush Bhagwan used to accept those and blessings to the living entities. Then the third age. Dwapar. The lifespan only 1000 years. So 100,000, then 10,000, then 1000. And proximity of Lord, what was the, huh? what was the means to attain Lord in Dwapar Yuga? Temple worship. Archana means worships. And then comes this Kali Yuga. Only 5,000 years past so far. Approx 5,000 years. And the lifespan is 432,000 years. And the life is 100 years. 
if you're lucky 100 years otherwise 70 80 90 and there is no surety so from 100,000 10,000 the 1,000 and now in this age we are in this age we are all surviving lifespan is 100 years if we think of sitting in meditation we can't even meditate 5 minutes in that 5 minutes of meditation 5 messages goes in the head <laughs> so difficult right five messages performing fire sacrifice oh it's too hot 105 degrees just only 45 minutes not more than that just finish this quickly ingredients are not pure the person who's performing is also not pure so it's difficult to attain uh, it's difficult to achieve that perfection so this is not recommendable in this age meditation can't do fire sacrifice very difficult and archana worship means collecting so many ingredients so much money is needed and again purity is needed so this cannot be also possible what is recommended in this age? Dwapar Paricharjam Kalotad Kirtana Kritaya Dhyato Vishnu Treto Yajatomake Dwapar Paricharjam Kalotad Kirtana In this, this age is known as Kali Yuga Which age? Kali Yuga uh, Age of Coral Full of faults, cheating propensity, sinful, not only in mind but in actions, in words also. Cheating, all money business, politics, it's all cheating. This is a nature. Therefore, the essence of all the scriptures, Srimad Bhagavatam says, Kalev Dosho Nidhi Rajan Astik Mahad Guna Full of faults, quarrels, everywhere. Not amongst countries, societies, states, neighbors, even in one family. Brother, sister, husband, wife, kids, children, everywhere is quarrel because we are living in this age of quarrel. But everything has some positivity. It's just we need the eyes to see that. It says, even a stop clock gives correct time twice a day. <laughs> clock is stopped by 10 a.m. Not moving at all. The needles not moving. But giving correct time twice a day. Some positivity. Even in the stop clock. <laughs> Everything is some positivity. <laughs> Even a mad person <laughs> also good for something. <laughs> Srila Prabhupada used to say, this is bad bargain, this body. Best use of the bad bargain, this body is very bad bargain. But we can use this in a best way, even it is very bad bargain. So something is special, some positivity, yes, we can't see this because we in conditioned state with not so much mature understanding, 
we are known as bhar grahi there are two categories sar grahi and bhar grahi sar grahi means one who takes the essence like bumblebees they sit on different flowers and what they do they just take the essence the nectar and they collect that nectar so one who just take the essence is called sar grahi so the devotees of lord they are known as sar grahi they take the essence even though there are so many faults but they just take the good quality and engage that person in the service of krishna this called sar grahi but then other is bhar grahi one who always holds the burden what's the animal compared to that donkey donkey always <laughs> mm-hmm. carrying load <laughs> but but cannot relish cannot taste carrying so many nuts on his back <laughs> donkey the jeevas the living entities they always carrying so much burden but they can't taste they think this is enjoyment this is enjoyment this is enjoyment but after a while that enjoyment turns to miseries and suffering every enjoyment has a saturation as i was explaining and then it fades bhar grahi so the great king parikshit the descendant of pandavas he was the ruler he was a king very pious king one who had darshan of the lord when he was just in the womb of his mother imagine his good fortune being descendant of the pandavas who are very dear to krishna the supreme lord that krishna became his chariot driver of arjun how much dear and how close friendship krishna has with his dear pandavas the son of kunti five pandavas and especially with arjun <clears throat> so the descendants of pandavas parikshit maharaj he saw this cruel person kali entered in his kingdom parikshit maharaj fully aware of his nature he is going to create chaos in our my society he is going to create fights quarrels cheating sins is full of faults so he took his bow and arrow and wants to kill him because he is ruler he is so powerful he can kill anyone and he is the one who is now coming and wants to destroy all bias activities you know in dwapar yuga and kali yuga there is very funny story just at the end of dwapar yuga two farmers they had some business exchange one farmer he sell his land field where he was doing farm farming harvesting he sold to another farmer <coughs> and then the purchaser one day he was plowing the fields and he heard some sound with that plow he heard one sound tang so what is that he dug ground and he found one big chest he opened that and there was diamonds what is supposed to do he took that very heavy chest on his bullock cart and he approached that seller farmer saying that listen i only purchase land from you 
and this I got from your land. So this belongs to you. <laughs> and the farmer said, no, no, no. Oh, brother, I sold you that land means everything in, in that territory belongs to you. This is yours. He said, no, no, no. <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> they were calling, saying, this is yours, this is yours. Okay. From morning till noon, till evening, they were discussing from so many perspectives. This is yours, this is yours. <laughs> and after two days, Kali Yuga arrived. The, this age, Kali Yuga. And now they start calling, this is mine. He said, this is mine. Say, I sold you the land, but any, this is so valuable, this belongs to me. He said, hey, I purchased this land. Anything belongs in that, it belongs to me. Before they were fighting to give. That was love. And now, change, poverty. This is the age of Kali. Everything is mine. I and mine. I and mine. This is the cause of all ignorance. Hmm. Nothing is mine. And who am I? I don't know. If you walk by in the street, say morning walk. I'm very new in this neighborhood. I every morning I go out for morning walk. I see some people walking. And if I stop someone, hey, excuse me, who am I? <laughs> What that person will reply? You are little off. <laughs> you are crazy. Who am I? What is this question? But this question in spiritual world is a very intelligent question. Full of gravity. And who asks this question? One who is very intellectual. Not ordinary person. Only intellectual person asks this question, who am I? Means, I know everything about mine. My eyes, my nose, my body, my house, my husband, my children, my wife, my brother, my father, my society, my state, my city, and my country. Everything, everything I know about what is mine, but who am I? That is a great area. Because everything mine is only related to I. If, if I is not present, nothing is mine. What is I? Soul. If soul is absent from this body, nothing is mine. No father, no mother, no house, no car. No, my property, no society, which country, huh. just lying on the ground without speaking. No emotions, not, whole, not, not feeling cold or hot, no AC required, <laughs> no food, no water. Just because of one I, everything is mine. Just because one eye, if that one eye is absent, everything is absent. And everything is present because of that one eye. Imagine that one eye, you understand? Soul, which is so minute. So minute. And the size of the soul is what? The tip part of the hair, if it is cut into 10,000 pieces, the 10,000, 10,000 piece of that, only the tip of the hair is the size of the soul, which is making the body of elephant running. That soul is the driver and the body is car. That minute soul is present in elephant, in whales, sharks, birds, and even in a mosquito. 
and even in an ant, same soul. It's not that elephant soul is big that elephant, big like elephant. And mosquito soul is small. No, it's the same soul in all beings. And same is within us. That is I. What is the nature of that soul? This is the whole philosophy of art. Everything is there to understand this one point. Who am I? Ami ke. And why I am suffering in this world? This is a question. Why I am suffering in this world? Who am I? This question may appear crazy if we ask someone in the street because the person don't know the philosophy. But if you approach a holy person with this question, she will appreciate, wow, you are intellectual person who coming to me and asking this. Otherwise, we approach holy person with different, approaching holy person sadhus with different approaches. How can I get my business flourish? Oh, we have quarrel at home, my husband, my wife. What I have to do with this? What I have to do with that? Shall I go for vaccine or not? <laughs> this is a question. But if you ask a holy person this question, Sir, who am I? And when that person is really a bona fide sadhu, he will appreciate and glorify. Yes, this is the question to be asked. Spirituality starts from here. Spirituality means anything related to spirit is spirituality. Spirit means soul. So everything related to that soul is spiritual. And everything related to matter is material, which has no conscious. This material, it has no conscious. That's the question, worldly question. Who am I? This is the essence. See, that soul, the soul is a driver. Madhusudan, if he has to drive from here to say Florida, it takes three days or two days, or suppose New York, five days. The car tank is full of gas, full, unlimited supply. But if you don't eat for two days, what's going to happen? Crash. But car has full supply. Yeah, but driver is hungry, is starving. And if driver is full, and tank is empty, even then it won't work. So driver also need food. The soul is driver. And his body is car. The soul is driving this car. The only problem is, we are giving this body the best, all organic food. Two times, three times, four times, five times, six times a day. Whatever this body demands, always ready to supply whatever the body demands. But how about the driver? If driver won't eat, what's going to happen? Crash. Soul also need food. Yayatma su prasiddhiti. The food for the soul is not kofta balls <laughs> or salad or cookies that's not the food for the soul hmm? the food for the soul is the names of the lord 
Shavanam Kirtanam Sarup Siddha Bhakti Hearing about Krishna, knowing about Krishna, chanting about Krishna, serving Krishna, worshipping Krishna. This is a food for the soul. And from time immemorial, the soul is so hungry. We have to go to the essence of how I can advance not in my business to live a very prosperous, wealthy, comfortable, luxurious life, but how I can live spiritually luxurious life. Because also luxury is in spiritual world. And that comes, that begins with accepting a spiritual guardian in our life who teaches us how you can advance the journey of the soul. The soul is moving from one body to other, sometimes male, sometimes female, sometimes rich, sometimes poor. Animals, aquatics, birds, trees, plants, bugs, bacteria. We discussed yesterday in detail about this. The soul is moving, moving, moving. How we are seeing the world? With the presence of sun? No. That's what we chant, the male section, the Brahm Gayatri. Tat Savitur Varenyam. How we are perceiving the world? With sun? No. With the presence of soul. Soul has illumination. The world is perceived by the illumination of the soul. That's why we are seeing this. So important. And who is this soul? Mame Vanshu Jiva Loke Jiva Bhut Sanatana. Krishna says, soul is my part and parcel. We are part and parcel of Lord. We have qualities of Krishna, but in very small fraction, just like comparison, the sun globe, how many rays some have? Any countability? That one ray which penetrates through my window in my room, just one ray, and in that one ray, how many particles I see? Infinite particles. I am one of that. In that one ray of sun. And sun is compared to as Krishna. And I am that small little huh, minute soul in that existence of Krishna. But because I have taken shelter of that ray of sun, So I'll be known as part and parcel of Krishna, no son. So this journey is going on. It's not that every time we have to take birth in America. <laughs> How many births? Sometimes different universes, sometimes different countries, different towns. So that's not a permanent situation. But everyone in the entire world, they only and only focusing on only this point. Try to understand this. How I can make my living more comfortable and luxurious. That's all. That is called Bhargrahi. Just focusing and concentrating on that burden, but not going to the essence of it. One who gets intelligent, wants to become intellectual in spiritual life, question about this. Sargrahi, to extract the essence. What is the essence? How many days or years are I going to live a comfortable life? How many? Max 80 years, 90, 100, if you're lucky. That's all. And that's finished over. 
There is a life after this life. This again a life. How I can make my journey more comfortable? We buy a ticket, right? And there are so many sections. Economy class, comfortable class, and then business class. And more facilities are there. Then upgrade from economy to business. <laughs> more facilities. You get more served there. More leg space. More weight you can carry. So much. How we can upgrade our living standard. That's not the only essence. How to upgrade my spiritual advancement. That journey. Huh. Because There is a life after this life. So one who contemplate on this, according to spiritual language, considered as intelligent person. Parikshit Maharaj saw this Kali entering in my kingdom and what is going to do? He's going to make everyone sinful. No one can survive without sins. If not by actions, then just with the mind. Even with the mind. Words, mind, actions. And he took his bow and arrow and wants to kill him. But then Kali folded hands, requested, O oh ruler, O oh king, king is always there to give shelter to the subjects. Why are you acting so cruel to me? I am also one of your subjects. King always gives shelter. Also gave me shelter. I am praying to you. Parikshit Maharaj's heart melted. And he gave him four places to stay. Dutam panam istrim suna yat dharm chaturvidha. Dutam, where gambling, where pubs, alcohol, prostitution, and slaughterhouses, meat eating. Four places given to this Kali. places but then he said you gave me these four places to stay but what is the door to enter in these four places so I need one more Parikshimara said okay gold if you have gold then you can do gambling gold means wealth if there is wealth then prostitution if there is wealth, then you can go and have parties. But question comes to Parikshit Maharaj. You knew very well, your intelligent personality, that Kali is going to give disturbance in the society to every individual. Why you spared him? Why do you kill him? Get out from my kingdom! And he requested some place, some rent, uh, some spots, and you immediately gave him those. Why? You know why? Kaler dosho nidhi rajan. Kali is full of, nidhi means ocean of falls. Everywhere is falls, falls, falls. To err his human. Thorns. But ek mahad guna, just one good quality. Parikshit Maharaj looked on that one good quality which is only present in this age. Just one. Wow, just for one. <laughs> that one good quality is not ordinary one good quality. 
it is extraordinary good quality which is not present in three other ages even the lifespan of 100000 10000 and 1000 and those people in those yugas with their meditation and with their worships and with their fire sacrifices cannot attain that goal which can be attainable in this Kali Yuga which is full of force just one good quality one only that's why Parikshit Maharaj is like a bumblebee Sar Grahi just the essence he took from this Yuga and what is that? Kirtana Eva Krishna Sya Tad Sangha Mukta Bhavet Tad Bhavet Mukta Sangha Kirtana Eva Krishna Sya Only by Chanting of the names of Krishna In this short span of 80 to 100 years One can attain the highest perfection The love of Krishna Which cannot be attained in all those yugas by so much severe penances or worships or fire sacrifice the love of Krishna the love of God with imperfect senses with so much imperfections with not good understanding not even good standards conducts with just one Price, chanting the name of Krishna. Hare Ranam, Hare Ranam, Hare Ranam, Eva Kevalam, Kalo Nasteva, 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 Gati Ranatha. What is the meaning, Yadish Prabhu? <clears throat> there is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way than chanting the holy names. No other no other no other way <laughs> and just chant 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 yeah. chant yeah. the yeah. holy yeah. name life 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 will be saved that's all chant and be happy Shri Prabhupada also took this essence his sar grahi only by chanting by performing Krishna Kirtan, congregational chanting together, the Mukta Sangha Bhavet. One can attain all perfections which so difficult to attain in other yugas. And Balas Tava Kira Sakta, Taruni Tava Taruni Rakta, Vriddhas Tava Chinta Magna, Par Brahma Piko Pina Magna, Shankaracharya said. Childhood, only three ages he mentioned. Child, young and old. This is how life goes, the journey of life. Childhood, only playing. You see, we have two children here. They are not interested to hear anything. What they like? They like that small car, <laughs> the small bus. And the nature of children is, you know, like suppose a father of two, two boys or any two children boys girls so if one is playing with the car the other one also wants the same car <laughs> yes and he's crying fighting to get the same car because he's why he's playing with that car why not me then father say okay he takes the car from the other one and gives him the car and to the other one he gives a bus now he, the other one, he's seeing the bus, no, then he wants that bus. <laughs> this is their life. Toys is only, that's the life. Toys, that's all. And young age, just attractions. Attractions, that's only life about. No more toys just attractions that's all then comes to old age no attractions <laughs> no one wants to see old person 
<laughs> Everyone who wants to see young ones. And no playing with toys. Old people, they play with toys. For a child, that toy means life. If you take the toy, that means you take a life from the child. Start crying. Ah! <laughs> Old people, nothing to do with toys. No attractions. But old age is worries. Mm. Yes? yes? Who is old here? <laughs> You're not old? <laughs> Even that child is old. What is the definition of old age? What is the definition of old age? Grey hairs, can't see, can't sit, can't walk, and some troubles with back and etc. No. That's external definition of old age. We all are old. Okay. Adadi. No, listen. Okay, tell me. Child in the womb. How we define a child in the womb? Fetus? When child take birth, how we define that? Hmm? Newborn. Newborn. Then next step? Infant? Next step? Toddler. Toddler. Next step? Hmm? Child? Child? <laughs> what? Child. We're not there yet. <laughs> okay, not that close. Next step? Hmm? You. Next? Hmm? Adolescence? Next? Adult, right? And then? Middle age. Middle age. Then? Senior. Senior age. Senior citizens. <laughs> <laughs> then? Then No, no, later. Hey, morning. Let me finish. Later we'll move. So after that? Senior? Then? Elder. Elder. Then? <laughs> then, Old age and then no, no more, no more child, no more infant, no more toddler, no more teenager. After old age, what is that? Senile. <laughs> Senile. After old age, rest in peace. <laughs> it's true or not? Tell me. After old age, what's the next step? Death. That means, no, listen, that means anyone who is close to death is called old, right? In simple terms. Anyone who is near to death is old. Now my question is, who is not near to death? Don't we hear child in the womb dying? Don't we hear small babies die? Don't we hear teenagers die? They never become old. Then why did I? Close to death. Hence, everyone is old because everyone is close to death. Everyone is old. That's the journey. But we don't believe this. Go back home. Touch your heart and ask yourself, will I die one day? No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's people who die. My relatives die, my friends. Me? Oh no. Hand goes down. No, not me. <laughs> but that's not false. It's true. When we are asking, the answer answer comes out yes I will not die the answer is answer from the soul soul never dies is the body which dies mm. therefore this is called spiritual understanding spiritual 
understanding of soul, understanding of spirit. Therefore, by chanting Hare Nam, Hare Nam, by chanting the name of Krishna, every day in our life, every day as we eat and drink, we take shower, we maintain our body as much as we can. Similarly, we have to maintain that driver which drives this body, soul. By attaining, by chanting this, one attains the love of God, the love of Krishna, which is the only and only purpose of human birth. With that high consciousness, so advanced consciousness which is not present in trees, in animals, they have consciousness, but it's very much covered. Very broad consciousness. To understand who am I, who Krishna is, and what is my relationship with Him. All these questions are answered when one advances in spiritual life. And the only means of advancement is chant, chant, chant. Chant the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. <laughs> there is no tomorrow. Who knows? Will there be a tomorrow or not? <laughs> These words are very bitter, <laughs> very harsh, unpolite, <laughs> but actually they are true. <laughs> Truth is bitter. <laughs> Tomorrow I will explain what is the meaning of love? What is the true meaning of the word love from our scriptures? Okay? So, if you want to come tomorrow? <laughs> huh? I can't. Oh, you can't? Okay, then he will make notes and he will tell you that. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for everything. Hare Krishna. Thanks for Jagdish Prabhu Kumari Diji. Wonderful hosting. Very warm, loving hosting for all the devotees who come in here. Okay, what they will get in return? They're both spending so much time, whole day. Chai. <laughs> they will get benefited by from all of us. A share, a portion of our all spiritual benefits goes to them. One who uh, serve, uh, they get this reward. And reward comes in what? More services. <laughs> <laughs> so today you made four preps, tomorrow you have to make five. More services. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gaur Pimanandu.